So, what is the Health Services Blueprint? The Blueprint is an in-depth, comprehensive analysis of data, as well as demand and supply forecasting, that gives us critical insight into where we can make the biggest improvements in our local healthcare system over the next 10 years, and how we should focus the efforts of health service providers. We want to say up front that no hospitals in the Northwest Lynn will be closing as a result of any recommendations in the Health Services Blueprint. Rather, the Blueprint contains 44 recommendations which focus on reducing demand for hospital services and visits to the emergency department, as well as on improving access to care and delivery of services in the community. There is particular focus on the needs of seniors, people with mental health and addiction conditions, and people with chronic diseases, particularly for these diseases. We know that for people with chronic conditions, emergency department visits and hospitalizations can often be avoided with good primary care. This means regular access to an interdisciplinary team, as well as other community support services, to help people self-manage their disease more effectively. We know that by combining prevention, treatment, and follow-up care, we can improve the quality of life for people living with chronic disease. We know that by having a system of better integrated health care, between primary care, community care, hospitals, and long-term care, patients will be able to find their way to the right level of care no matter where they enter the system, and they will be linked to the resources in the community to help them stay healthier at home. We know that strengthened integration of hospital and community mental health and addiction services will improve access to treatment and improve withdrawal management services in the community. Finally, we know that by reducing demand for expensive hospital services and providing more services in the community, we can free up resources that can be used elsewhere in the system for patient care. All with a goal of improving health outcomes for the residents of Northwestern Ontario. So, how are we going to deliver on all of this? By creating a new integrated health system model that makes it possible to achieve all 44 of the Blueprint's recommendations. This model, which places the patient at the very centre of the healthcare system, will have health service providers working together to plan and organize services and deliver care at three levels, local, district, and regional. Before we look at those three levels, we need to discuss integration. This is a concept that has been mentioned many times. Let's take a moment to explain what it means. In a nutshell, integration contributes to improving the health system sustainability by increasing patient-centered care, improving quality, increasing access, reducing duplication, minimizing administrative costs, increasing value for money, and addressing waste in the system. It does these things by harnessing the power of partnership and collaboration among health providers and professionals. This may require new partnerships to create services to serve local populations better. It may use technology to improve the quality of service and to leverage existing resources. It also means changing clinical practice to better serve patients and clients. The very simplest example is this. Think of the services that one healthcare provider can deliver. Now imagine what two or several providers could do by working together with the goal of increasing access and improving service. That's integration. Health service providers have always been responsible for exploring opportunities for integration to improve the delivery of services for patients and clients. The model in the blueprint goes further by developing formalized networks of providers which will be collectively accountable for improving access to care, improving patient health outcomes, and continuous quality improvement. Here's a drawing of what's being planned. Integrated health systems of care will exist on three levels. Local health hubs are to be comprised of health service providers in and around communities. The local hubs will plan and provide health care services based on the unique needs of their community, to meet the health care needs of the population they serve, and to support individuals in accessing care as close to home as possible. Integrated district networks, where multiple communities share services, will include representation from local health hubs, the Northwest Community Care Access Centre, 
and an acute care hospital designated as a district health campus. The district health campus will provide specialist care to patients in the district through its site or through visiting clinics and or technology. The integrated district networks will focus on providing equitable access to health care services for the residents within the district, improving health outcomes for the population and arranging for people to receive the level of care they need close to home. The services coordinated at the district level will include certain hospital surgeries and medical interventions. Regional programs and services will ensure care is based on evidence and leading practice and will set the standards of care across the LIN. The regional program or service may be led by a community or hospital provider depending on the area of expertise. The regional program or service provider will have responsibility and accountability to work closely with the integrated district networks to disseminate best practices close to home. Why do we keep saying, as close to home as possible? Because we need to acknowledge that all services can't be available in every community. Some services, angioplasty for example, may be highly specialized. We can't expect every hospital in the Northwest to have the ability to provide these specialty services. We also need to ensure our specialists who provide these services have enough of these types of patients to maintain their knowledge, skills and expertise. It also makes sense to deliver some services locally, such as primary care, community support services, mental health and addiction services, and supportive housing. By tailoring these local services to meet each community's needs, we can provide a better level of care to everyone. At the district level, we can tailor services that each network offers to meet the healthcare needs of their surrounding communities. Regionally, by leveraging technology, such as the sharing of secure patient records, lab results, and electronic x-rays, we can offer better service and free up resources, while strengthening primary care and focusing on services that keep people well. Some of this is already happening in the Northwest Lynn. We'll share some examples shortly. The Health Services Blueprint will simply formalize the local, district, and regional networks and their responsibilities, and ensure that all communities benefit from these ideas. This blueprint, which has been developed in consultation with our health service providers and health system partners, calls for more integrated services, bridging the gaps that people experience between services. It calls for a more equitable distribution of services and more seamless access to care across the continuum. We believe that no door should be the wrong door when you're looking for help. For that to be the case, we have to change the existing organizational structure of healthcare organizations so they all offer a standardized, evidence-based approach to care provision. It will mean a change for patients too. Instead of just being recipients of healthcare, people and their loved ones will be empowered through better education and follow-up care with the ability to self-manage their condition. We know our plan is a good one, in part because the changes it proposes are already beginning to take place. Healthcare providers and partners in communities around Northwestern Ontario are already beginning to change, innovate and integrate with the common goal of better outcomes for patients. The Home First philosophy being practiced in communities brings health partners from across the continuum of care together to support people to go home first from hospital before making decisions about their future care. Through Home First and other programs, we're making significant progress across the region in reducing the number of people waiting in acute care beds for an appropriate setting such as rehab, support services at home, or long-term care. In Dryden, health providers meet regularly to share resources and plan for system improvements in their community, resulting in better care for seniors. Our e-health projects are linking healthcare professionals with hospitals, resulting in significant improvements to the quality of patient care and patient safety. Increases in assisted living services for high-risk seniors are helping seniors across the Lynn live better in the comfort of their own surroundings. Visits to the emergency department and admissions to hospital of long-term care residents in Thunder Bay have dropped significantly thanks to the on-site care provided by a team of nurse practitioners. 
Telehome care initiatives have increased access to care for people with congestive heart failure and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease by enabling them to manage their conditions at home. Patient information, such as blood pressure or respiratory function, is transmitted via phone line to a medical support team which monitors the patient's condition and follows up with the patient as appropriate. Our system goals for better access, quality service, integration, and sustainability of the healthcare system all sound good, and we're sure some people will want us to go full speed ahead. But it is unrealistic to think we can get there overnight. We must be thoughtful about the changes, and remember that the health services blueprint is to be implemented over a 10-year period. Our next step is to educate our health service providers, healthcare partners, citizens, politicians, and other stakeholders on the findings and recommendations in the Health Services Blueprint and get their ideas on how we should put this plan into action. More needs to be done. We need to keep up the momentum, building on these and other successes as we work towards a healthcare system that helps people stay healthy, delivers good care to them when needed, and will be there for their children and grandchildren. For our part, the Northwest Lynn will continue to support providers as they seek ways to integrate services and improve the way they deliver health care. Together, we're all on a journey for sustainable, quality health care in the Northwest. As we move forward with planning for implementation, we want you to be involved and engaged in the process. We'll keep you informed of upcoming sessions in your community. Visit our website where you can find full details on the Health Services Blueprint, including the recommendations specific to each local hub, integrated district network, and regional programs for the Northwest Lynn. Visit us regularly to get the latest information as we bring the Blueprint to life.